back at Xining railway station this morning, this time chasing rainbow mountains. <laughs> she thinks I'm hilarious. Sometimes. <laughs> So we met a couple of girls at the hostel who we're going to meet in Zhangyi and we're going to share a car to the Rainbow Mountains. It is pouring down with rain here today, which might not be a bad thing for the mountains because after the rain it sort of saturates the colours a bit more. <laughs> you too. <laughs> the plan was to see the Rainbow Mountains at sunset, so we had eight hours to kill in the surrounding area. So we're now at our first stop inside the Dangxia National Park. Probably the most peaceful place in China we've been to so far. <laughs> The rock formations and the colours really remind me of somewhere in America or Australia. Definitely didn't expect this in China. Don't know if it's just me, but some of these rocks aren't very family friendly. We are trying really hard to learn about the folklore that's associated with all these rocks, but it's quite difficult when the translations are a little bit Google Translate. On the deep white long tan, Christian Hong D E Vomix Y Wan, Bang didn't know where to go. Actually, that one makes quite a bit of sense. <laughs> this has been such a highlight, and it's not even the main event, so it's been a good day so far. We have arrived at the Rainbow Mountains and it is a lot busier here. I feel like I'm at a Disneyland ride. My first impressions of the Rainbow Mountains weren't the best. The sheer amount of people on the boardwalks was pretty overwhelming. And it seemed like the main focus was being shifted away from the beautiful nature and towards all of the other attractions. But luckily the area is so huge that you can just jump onto a bus and very quickly escape to some quieter sections. And when you finally get an uninterrupted view of the Rainbow Mountains, it's something really special. I honestly did not expect the colours to be so bold and defined. For once, real life was living up to the Instagram shots. As the crowds thinned even more and the sun got lower in the sky, the views just got better and better. I started this film with a bold claim. We had a lot of amazing days in China, but quite early on in Dangxia National Park, something struck me about this one in particular. I think people have a preconceived notion about what China is going to be like, and I know I did, and it's just, to me, it's a place that's been so full of surprises. I, I never, ever expected somewhere like this. I think in China, I expect the unexpected. It was a simple day made of two stops, but it was the best day we had in China. Next time on the China series. We've all heard of the Terracotta Warriors, but there's some amazing things to do in the city of Xi'an that you might not know about. 